morning welcome to my channel my girl my girl hold on good morning guys it's your girl jackie welcome back to my channel i know it has been a minute and i've decided to vlog my day today okay let's get started with the day and let me catch up with you guys i bought these on amazon and i do not like them i thought i did and they have a cross right here and every time you kind of like bend it just folds down so I love the material. I like that it's thick. I just don't like that it just folds down. You're like me. I have a t-shirt on top. And I don't know, I feel more comfortable having a t-shirt on top. I am doing my protein shake before I head to the gym. I love ice on my protein shakes, in my protein shakes. I love crushed ice with my soda. I love crushed ice with um, natural orange juice. I mean, Put on the comment below, Ice Ice Baby, if you love ice also with your protein shake because I just can't drink without it. I was in my car for like about five to 10 minutes just scrolling through my social media and um, yeah, it parked. I'm in front of the gym. Ah, okay, I gotta go in. So much to unravel, so much to tell you guys, giving you guys an update. I took my real estate exam. Come on. And I failed. I failed you guys I got a 66% and I wanted to share this with you because before taking the real estate exam I looked into videos and the videos are like five years old two years old and there's nothing current and some videos that I watch really like yes they were helpful but not what I was looking for and now that I've gone through it I want to share it with you guys because I know I'm not the only one that's in the middle of studying in the middle of retaking your real estate or also real estate exam or also thinking of going into real estate so I took my class a virtual class you had to take your class first before taking the um, before taking the state exam I went ahead and I did that I took the real estate class course online the one that worked for me is the one from Tampa so I took the Tampa school um, exam and I passed it and you have to do 63 hours of it and once you pass you print out your certificate that they give you they don't send it out to you they send it to you through via email and then you print it out that is something you're going to need for your real estate exam. And to take the class, you have to do your background check, you have to do your fingerprint, and obviously pass the class. My class was virtual, so it was three days out of the week. It was like about four hours. And you just have to be consistent and make sure you are able to miss two classes in case something were to happen because you know life happens so i thought that was very cool of them to do and to like allow something really good also is that the class gives you an, a printout of what to study for your class and what to study for the state i studied what i needed to study for the class and i was able to take my notes and um it's two hours to take the the test and then you go ahead and you take it and then you're excited you pass pass we're gonna go and take the real estate exam you want to go in and apply for it once you apply for it it's going to tell you what to bring and actually things that i've learned that was said in my class but it was i don't know it's good to call your center. So they provide with they provide the calculator. They provide a locker room so you can go ahead and put in your cell phone, put in your belongings. The only thing that you can take into the test is yourself and your photo ID because you're going to need that to get back into your locker and you know, and then just go home. Make sure you bring a sweater because it is so cold. I'm so happy I took a sweater. I thought about it later and I was like, is it gonna be cold? Maybe not. And I took it and I'm so happy that I took a sweater because it was cold. I got there an hour early, location, traffic. I just decided to get there uh, really early just because you just never know what's gonna happen. And I am someone that, I'm that person that things happen, you're like, what so i prepare i prepare for the worst always um once you get there you take your test i was nervous you guys i was shaking i am not a test taker read the questions two or three times something that's really good that i learned is that 
while you're taking the test, you're able to flag. There's like this little flag that you can click on on the upper right hand side and you can go back to that question. If you are questioning it or don't know, then you can go back and just make sure that that's the answer that you wanna leave. And I am so happy, like, obviously I failed. So you, you guys are probably like, why are you so happy? I'm happy that I took it and I'm happy that I was able to see how it is and what the questions are. You do receive a paper and the paper that they give you is going to be face down so you can take it, go into your car, look at it and see if you passed or not. I didn't pass, so I can tell you guys what you can see if you don't pass. If you don't pass, it tells you, I apologize, you didn't pass. So you need to pass with a 75. I got 60, I uh, received 66% on the test. And then it's going to give you categories. So let's say the category of contracts, it was 10 questions of contracts. Let's say that you passed nine, but you missed one. So it'll let you know, it won't show you the exact question uh, that you missed, which I kind of wish I could see. And it won't show you the what the answer was. So, I mean, at least that helps out a little bit. Like, you can go back home and study. I was able to DM someone and I said, hey, I would love to go to this event. I am actually um, working on getting my real estate license. What do you think? And she said, girl, you can come. If you're thinking and planning of taking the test, then just come. I was like, what? That doesn't happen. I was the only one there, you guys. And everyone was like, surprised that I didn't have my license and I was there and I was able to learn the new things that are happening, um, the new laws that just that just were brought out and learning about contracts. So I thought that was so cool. I was also able to meet people and connect because that's what it's all about. At the end of the day, when you are become a real estate license, um, interacting with people and I thought that was such a good thing and uh yeah so i'm saying this to let you guys know like reach out to people you never know even if you're studying reach out to realtors around your area ask them questions and during that um seminar i was able to without actually without me even asking they just told me hey so who's your broker i was like i don't have a broker um i'm still studying i'm taking my test next week they all just started opening up on their experience with the test and what to study, what to focus on. Once you receive your test, you fail the test, all right? I'm currently in it. Um, go ahead and reschedule your exam. Don't wait. Don't, you know, I say reschedule it even when you're feeling down, even when you feel like maybe this is not for me, maybe you know i mean you feel all the feels because you're just like what else for me especially i'm like what else is there for me if you guys have been following my journey you guys have noticed that i'm not posting makeup anymore like i was or like doing a client i can definitely do a story time on that where i stand with makeup and where i stand um creativity creativity creatively with that Bought these yesterday was it yesterday and oh my God, every single time I have to cut and adjust my lashes, I had a good amount tell me not to study the math because the math portion is like 10. And I had a lot of people tell me to, well, actually only one person, I'm not even gonna lie, one person told me to study the, um, the math part. But then a day before, two days before taking the state exam, I saw a YouTube from someone that teaches teaches them to take the exam. But something she says stuck with me. And I thought about it too, but I was like, ugh, because, you know, learning formulas and on top of that, learning the the glossary, I'm like, and, I, and I'm a per type of person, I don't want to take two years to take a test and pass it. I just want to take it now. But something she says stuck with me, and it's so true. So you have 10 questions of math. 10 questions of math. If you get your glossary, let's say you miss some of them, but if you don't miss your math, one of those math problems could have been the one to save me. I'm gonna speak for myself. So I am actually going back to take my test and I am going to study my formulas for the test. Look at these lashes. 
look at them and they stop halfway i love them this one is just not wanting to come on guys i've been learning how to do my hair and i feel like i'm getting better and better ah it's gonna get a little bit more of a volume right here and dirty hair is the best <laughs> i just worked out and i decided not to oh yes you guys learning okay so again i applaud you if you're taking the roasted exam let's get it done join me you've been watching my video don't forget to subscribe join the family hit that notification button just so you know every single time i post a video i am back if you guys want to know more stories or want to know a little bit about me you have any questions go ahead and leave them on the comment below so i can go ahead and answer them and let's pass this real estate exam you guys let's do this if you're in this journey with me let's do it let's hold each other accountable let's pass the test i'll tell you the tricks that i'm learning i have english cards there's so many other things um and i'll probably do a video um on what i'm using to study so hopefully that helps you all right talk to you later bye